What is good, Heat 'em Up Gang? It's your boy Heat 'em Up Trump back with another video. Alright, now look, y'all. Hold on. What is going on here? I don't know what this means. Okay, we're good. Alright, what's good, Heat 'em Up Gang? It's your boy Heat 'em Up Trump back with another video. Alright, look. We're going to get in the Kyle Pitts. We're not going to watch his highlights because I already reacted to his highlights. I'll leave that video at the end of this video. Um, thoughts on Kyle Pitts. He's a great tight end, probably the best tight end in college football. By, f he's not probably, he is the best tight end in college football right now. You can make the argument that he's probably the best tight end in college football ever. He's very, his game is very similar to, uh, fuck, she's tight end. You know, I never, I never remember the number two tight ends in the league, so you know, it always... It always uh, makes me think because, you know, George Kittle's number one, you know what I mean? So I just automatically assume. But, yeah, y'all know what I'm getting. Uh, so, you know, let me stop playing, y'all. His game is very similar to Travis Kelsey. I'm just putting it there, like that. He's just a skinnier version of Travis Kelsey. Um, when you think of Kyle Pitts, you're going to think Travis Kelsey because what does Travis Kelsey do? He lines up. He can line up in the slot. He can line up at wide out. And they have the, both the same weaknesses. He can catch the ball very good. He's very elusive. So his yards after catch would be great. For the Niners, would we would I like to have him? Yes. He would make us very much better. We can really run that two tight end set that we've always wanted. But I feel like we already have that. I mean, I don't know if we're keeping Jordan Reed. But, or how long we even have him. But yeah, Kyle Pitts would definitely make us better, but do we, we don't need him. That's the point I'm trying to get. We don't need him. We have way too many other draft needs in this draft for us to really, if we had already had like a solid O-line that we can really uh, trust, um, corners that were young and just they just needed to build up, and we didn't have to take a corner, then yeah, we could take Kyle Pitts, cause we would already be addressed on the back end. It would have just, it would have literally have just been a season full of injuries that we had, and we get, we just happened to have the 12th pick. But it's not the case. I mean, yes, we had a lot of injuries, and we just happened to have the 12th pick. But there's a lot of needs on this team that we need to get, need to address. We need to address the offensive line position. We need to address the DB position. Richard Sherman's not coming back. Jason Verrett's contract is up. We're unsure if he's going to come back. Manuel Mosley is the only corner under contract that we really have that actually played for us for and played well. Akilah Weatherspoon, he's been... He was consistent until he got hurt, and then after he got hurt, never heard from him again for real. So, we need DBs back. This is a DB... Draft, I mean, the offensive line draft, draft class isn't really as strong, but we're, we're such in need in offensive line, like, we'll just take anybody. I'm not going to lie. We're going to, hopefully we take anybody. I don't really trust that it's just continuity. I know uh, Vish said on Grant's thing that it was continuity and that we just need a center. <clears throat> but did y'all not see how bad Mike McGlinchey played? <laughs> he's supposed to be the captain of the offensive line and he played terrible if that's continuity then I just don't know what it is because he played terrible we got rid of Lakeland Thomason played great but I mean if you have your our so called best offensive blocker that's a captain playing that terrible and consistently in games, we need to address the offensive line position. It's a, it's a must. It's a must that we address it. We need to address it. Um. So will we have enough to get Kyle Pitts? If he's available to us, if we want to do the take the best man available, sure. But doing that like we did last year with Javon Kinlaw, could have had Tristan Wirfs. We could have had. We could have went tackle. We've needed an offensive line 
forever now. Forever. Since the Kyle Shanahan era, for real, for real. We needed an offensive line. We got rid of one because he was a pure pass blocker. I don't even know why we got rid of him because he's a pure pass blocker. That don't make no sense. Because McGlinchey can't pass block worth for nothing, but he can run block. He can run block for sure. He can run block, but he can't pass block. He gets bullied. But let's react to this Kyle Pitts. It's not really much. It's not highlights or anything. It's just the Mac 2020 Mac Award. I'll leave the uh, link to the description and for my Kyle Pitts highlights video. From at the end age, of this video, it'll drop on. Flag. I never really liked to grab the flare. I always like to tackle. I always kind of like being physical, falling on the ground. That's not feeling over offense, really. I don't know. It's something that me scoring and putting points on the board and being able to celebrate is something that I always loved in high school when I scored my first touchdown. Mm. It's just like the love kept growing every that day. That feeling when you score your first touchdown in high to school is Knowing how to read certain coverages, knowing how to beat that's certain that's people that's and certain that's techniques that's to use against the, I feel the like Friday are, Night Lights, you know, the Friday unguardable night to any position. You. It just feels A kid different. from Philly coming to Florida was kind of unheard of. I got my plane ticket, my name parents came down to visit it, and I just instantly fell in love sooner than I play. And I was like, my glasses fogged up, I was like, this is what I need. I would hope to say that I'm a Gator great. I'm one of those guys that leave a legacy on this university. Kyle Pitts, to me, is he's the most impressive player in 2020. It's a nightmare for defensive coaches, and that cat, that guy right now, I, I know there's other players, He's the most impressive player in 2020. 20 year deadline. They could say Kyle Pitts was one of the greatest to ever play here. There he is, Pitts. Room service. See how he's losing. Kyle Pitts. The sideline for Pitts. And he makes a catch. Kyle Pitts. Okay. Sometimes they're just winning throws, and sometimes they're just guys that are too good for this league. He's a receiver and it's tight end's body. Touchdown, Gators! And Pitts got it! Touchdown! Oh no, he's a tight end and a receiver's body. Baby. All right. That was a little. It was a quick video. It was a quick video. Um. But yeah, I already said what I had to say about Kyle Pitts. Tremendous player. Tremendous player. So much talent. Has the potential to be a very good tight end. In the NFL, I said that in my last video. I'm just like, he has the potential to really be really great in the NFL. And, but then another reason. He can't, I don't think he can block. Kyle Shanahan's offense is really based off play action blocking. So it's like, will he really? Could Jordan Reed block? I don't know. I don't remember. I didn't really see him much. He was hurt so much. I didn't really. Uh, but, yeah, having him on our team would definitely, like, be exciting because he will add to that dynamic factor. But we don't, at the end of the day, we don't really need him. We don't need him. Would we love to have him? Yes, we will. <laughs> Let's say worst case scenario. All the DBs get drafted before 12. Uh, all the offensive linemen drafted before, before 12. This, oh, well, yeah, go get Kyle Pitts then. Because it's like we can get Asante Samuel or uh, Paulson Adebo later on in the draft. You know, we can get one of them. Because I'm really high on this Kyle Mon kid now. I ain't going to lie. I'm really high on the Kyle Mon kid now. I'm like, no gizzy, no gizzy, like. Kyle Mon in the second round. Maybe we'll have to try to trade up a couple draft picks in the second round to go get them. But Kyle Mon to the Niners for the backup, I'm really starting to like that scenario. I, I like that scenario now. 
I mean, like, I, I've came to the conclusion that Zach Wilson will be drafted top five, top six, or top seven. Um, I'm not really high on Trey Lance anymore. I've watched, like, some more videos. Uh, they're saying, like, Tebow, Tebow-ish, but just way faster. And when they say Tebow-ish, instantly get cuts off. You know what I'm saying? Because I don't want no quarterback like Tebow. You know what I'm saying? Tebow was cool in college, but he was terrible in the NFL. You know, he, yeah. But... Yeah, Kyle Mond. Kellen Mond. Kellen Mond. Kellen Mond. Yeah, I can't go in the comments and said I said Kelly Mond. I said Kellen. I said Kellen. But that's going to do it for the video. Kyle Pitts, 2020 Mac Award winner. Congratulations to him. Uh, he's going to be a great player in the league. I said that already. I'm going to leave the link. It's going to pop up as soon as this video ends. Make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe, follow the socials, all that, all that other good stuff, share the video, all that, I'm out.